In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you some progression drills for volleys that you can do by yourself in order to either learn the volley or just to improve it. The, the, the great part about these drills is that all you need is a ball machine or a partner willing to feed balls, to, balls for you. So I set the ball machine and I'm ready. In the beginning, I want you to practice just catching the ball because if you understand that the volley is a catch, it's going to be a lot easier for you to learn the stroke. So you notice what I do. I just step out, load the outside foot and catch the ball in front of me. As I do that, I want you to notice that I do not take my hand back and I'm, I'm not following through. All I do is catch the ball out in front of me. So I'm reaching for it. For some reason, the, the ball machine is feeding me too short. Very good. So you notice that I step out and I catch it out in front of me. The volley is like a catch. I turn my body slightly towards the incoming ball, put my hand out in front, and my fingers are pointing to the sky. That's exactly how I want my racket to be. So just practice catching, like stepping out and catching the ball. After a while, put two fingers on the strings, the rest wrap wrap them around, around, around the neck, and just practice catching the ball like what I did earlier. We consider this as a bigger hand. So I have a big hand, again, step out and catch the ball. Step out and catch. You notice that the strings are pointing up. I have my racket face slightly open to help in getting the balls over, over the net. And obviously we slice later on. After a while, hold the racket a little high, uh, uh, like, like at the top of the grip, hammer grip, and practice the same thing. Step out and catch. Step out, catch. You see the ball, the balls come lower to me now? Uh, that's a little higher. But very important, just make sure you load the body. Do not let the racket pass your shoulders. Always keep it out in front, and the tip of your racket should be pointing up. So just catching the ball right now, getting used to catching and being comfortable having the racket face slightly open. After let's say 10, 20, whatever repetition feels comfortable for you, slide it all the way down to the bottom. Practice catching the balls, having a hammer grip. So step out and catch the ball in front. Again, do not let the racket pass your shoulders, always keep it out in front, just like when you caught the balls, the same right now, just catch them with your racket. You see, even if the ball is lower, I bend my knees, but my racket stays up, and I want to have a 90 degree angle between the forearm and my racket. So again, step out, set, step in. You can practice the footwork after a while, which you basically have for now two steps. Step out, step in. Catch the ball in front, step out, step in. Try to keep your racket head pointing up. Even if the ball is lower, maintain the 90, 90 degree angle between the arm and the racket. Good. After a while, just go for a little more power. So step out and step into the ball. And you can even try a little slice. Prepare the racket high, and as you come down through the ball, open your racket slightly to facilitate the slice. Step out, step in, and slice. You notice that I try to stop my racket right after I make contact, so I freeze. Step out, step in. And you can even go for placement. Try one cross court, one down the line. Okay, so you go one cross court, you see the tip of, I mean, the, the, the strings are pointing towards my target. And down the line, you see the strings again, at the end pointing towards my target. Cross court, and down the line. So practice this 
Let me see if I get in more balls. Probably not. So practice this against a ball machine or, or, or partner. Like I said, split step, step out, set the racket out in front of the shoulders. 90 degree angle, 90 degree angle between the forearm and the racket. Tip of your racket pointing up. Body, body weight on the outside foot as the ball comes. Step in for, for more slice. Make sure your racket goes high to low and get to a stop right after the contact. And then obviously push off, get in ready position for the next ball. Have fun.